One, two, two. She. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome. Oh, yeah. Hi, guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Okay, um, today is definitely a special video. Not only I have my boyfriend here, my beloved. <laughs> oh, but, you're too much. But also I have um, one of my favorite meal back, um, which is corn. Mat okay, it's not corn, but we have mozzarella. Should we put corn in it? Where the hell is corn? There, I have one right there. But yeah, we're going to do a corn mozzarella cheese fondue with a bunch of amazing side dishes over here which I will explain later but before that um, well I want to give it a special thanks to Kings the maker of bubble witch 3 saga for sponsoring this video yay yeah. basically uh, bubble witch 3 saga is a brand new game brand new bubble shooting game from the bubble witch franchise and it's definitely free to download if not, I wouldn't have recommended it to you guys or Tom would have, wouldn't have played it, right? What level are you? I'm 37. 37. I'm 32, I think. He's been beating me. So, yeah, definitely it's free to download. Check out the description box to see more. And I'm out again. So, one of my, one of my favorite features about this uh, game is that it comes with this uh, aiming line. Oh, right? yeah, aiming yeah line. that definitely basically, makes yeah, it easier. Yeah, basically this aiming line um, guides you which where you can shoot the bubble so the bubbles will connect and burst you know, more bubbles basically and get more points. It's not only effective like in the beginning, it's effective throughout and every level. So it's definitely helpful for me, someone who sucks at games. Yeah, me so too. this is one of my favorite features. And in every level, it, um, I think it makes it more interesting because it has different challenges and different modes. So one of my favorite modes is the ghost mode. Basically, it comes with a little cute ghost, and you're uh, supposed to clear oh, so out the free. yeah. Uh, supposed to clear out the path, so it can reach the top and meet up, reunite with his friends. And you just have to be careful because sometimes they do get trapped. So you have to be really like you have to use strategy actually, and you have to be smart about which way you're gonna burst out the bubbles. So if you haven't checked this out already, definitely go check it out. And um, until Valentine's Day, you get fifty percent more. Uh, if you buy the special bundle on Bubble Witch 3 Saga. So definitely, definitely hurry up, check out their website and their game to get more. And let me know what you guys think about this game. Let me know your opinions and your thoughts on it. Uh, and write in the dis uh, comment box because your feedbacks help us a lot. Like, I mean, help that game company a lot and definitely helps us a lot because you guys are commenting on their videos. So without further ado, are you hungry? Fondue. Are you hungry? I am so hungry. Okay. Okay, so let's begin. So we have some like half mozzarella cheese and half Swiss Swiss cheese. Um, I we just grated them. I grated them. You grated them, and I am using whipping cream. Usually people add white wine, but yeah, I'm just using cream because I just like it creamier. And we are definitely adding some sweet corn. Um, this is not. I'm not here to show you guys the authentic way to make Swiss cheese like or Swiss cheese fondue or any kind of cheese fondue. It's just my way or easy way to do it. And it's very similar to the video that I did before. And you guys love my corn cheese. Um, so we have some andouille sausages. They're a little spicy. Ooh. And we have the Korean ham. They're very, um, I think they actually say it's made on fish cakes. So they're not really ham. Damn. So and we have um, the cubed steak, cubed beef. They're meant to use uh, for fondues, but you know, like usually fondues for like fondues mm. as in not cheese fondue, but broth fondue, mm. like shabu shabu style. Mm. But since we're doing cheese, I cooked it already. And I have some broccoli, um, asparagus, mushrooms, and uh, baguette and shrimp. Everything is cooked besides the bread. I sauteed them a little just because um, usually people put it in the broth and cook it, but that's not what we're doing today. So I just sauteed all of them a little. And yeah. Instead of having wine, I know wine is like crucial on Valentine's di dinner date, but you know I don't. I wanted everyone to watch this video, and so I, I didn't want to put age age restriction on it. So instead of wine, alcohol, we got some cranberry juice <laughs> in a wine glass. <laughs> Should I taste? <laughs> it is right. <laughs> No, I don't think. This is 1958. 
Mm. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> is wine supposed to be the sweet? <laughs> this wine is. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Though. Happy Valentine's Day. You. It's so sweet. Good. Yeah, but it's good though. Maybe we should put water in it. But anyways, I sound really crappy right now because I've been sick and I'm actually recovering pretty fast. Uh, you guys have been giving me a lot of good remedies on Instagram. So here I am today filming. But let's start this up. Let's put some... That much? Hmm? What? And you sure you should put that next oh. to it? Consume like should we just make this like ten thousand calorie challenge? <laughs> okay, that's it. The cheese. Already? Yeah. Oh okay. Oh. Oops. I'm sick. And I'm out again. I'm sick. And you know I would have dressed up, but I'm sick, so someone <sighs> had to show off. No. <laughs> 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 I think it's the night cool. <laughs> Going drunk. Oh really? <laughs> Can you even say that? Yeah, why not? Okay. Oh yeah. I love sweet corn. This thumbnail right here got me 3 million views. <laughs> really like oh, you could eat? No, I'm not. Oh! Yes. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks, babe. You guys will know why I did this if you watch his channel. The cream, whipped cream. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. One of a kind. I'll have it on. Ooh, I think this is done. Oh, wow. Right? And you doubt of me. Yeah. <laughs> mm, okay. You want, which one you want to try first? Everything. Okay, first. I don't use my chopsticks. Oh, Gucci. Huh. How Ooh. is it? Oh, oh. I stop. Okay, I think this one's gonna be better though. Oh, yeah. Oh, dang. It's good? Mm hmm. So simple. Mm hmm. It's amazing. Jeez. Oh, girl, sorry. <laughs> oh, this doesn't even look good. Mm. Yes. Yeah, I should put it on the lower. Mm. To everything with cheese is amazing. Oh. And for cheese fondue, it's supposed to be kind of more watery than like the... I always thought it was just straight up cheese. Mm, no. I mean like my way is not right. It's not like traditional, but... But after all, this is not a... Recipe, recipe video, so... Mm -hmm. Mmm. I got some baguette. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, 
Grazie. Okay. Oh, okay. It's hot. Mmm. Mmm. No. Mmm. <laughs> You know, I've been sick, so I don't, I don't really have that much appetite. And you haven't ate for yeah, a while too. Yeah, and this is so good. <laughs> Definitely, most simplest way to do like Valentine's Day dinner, like. Yeah. It'll be fun too. Cause I went to one restaurant that mm -hmm. did it. It was so expensive. Melting pot. Mm. That place is, but like that place is um only by course. Mm. Like it comes with like appetizer, which is the cheese and vegetables, and the main course is um the broth and like steak, shrimp, and they have um different varieties. Like there's like forty dollar one, eighty dollar package, hundred twenty dollar package. You must been there a lot. I've been there once with girls. Oh me too. I went there with guys. Oh, I thought you were say Really? Yeah. Oh, me too. I went there with girls. <laughs> I think it's a guy. Who goes to Melting Pot guys? <laughs> That's such a date spot. You know? If you go in there, it's super dark. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and very like secluded from other tables. Definitely a dinner, like a. Um, I bet like, that place is like busy during Valentine's Day weekend. Eh. We could do this at home, so we're saving money. <laughs> Mm. Did you try the shrimp? Mm hmm. Is it good? It's good. Okay. I'm gonna try broccoli. Broccoli is good too. Why are you eating Cheetos with this? Hmm? Why are you eating Cheetos with this? You bought me it. Yeah. Cheetos with cheese is awesome. <laughs> What you say? <laughs> mm. Well, the broccoli is really it's good. It's good, right? Mm. Chuck some more. More getting wasted. Yeah, too drunk. I might let go of myself today. <laughs> it's okay. We don't need to try it tonight. <laughs> you can sleep in another room. <laughs> Classy and not use my chopsticks. <gasps> I think I could turn this off. I could? No, um, I didn't. When I was a kid, mm. I used to really like being sick. Because you know, you could skip school. You get all you the attention. Do yeah. You don't have to do homework. Your mom cooks for you and brings you to your room. Watch movies all day. I really didn't like it. But now, you have responsibilities. And you gotta like, pay those bills. <laughs> yeah. You can't... You oh, can't. you're sick? Too bad. This is yeah. life. And you rather take those days off, like going on a vacation, not being sick. So much work. Yeah. Just coughing a lot. You? Mm. But you sound so much better than yesterday. Oh my gosh. Wow. We tried to film yesterday. She was dead. I was dead. Give 
my stomach. <laughs> it is your stomach. <laughs> It's probably because you haven't ate and then all of a sudden you're putting so much cheese. <laughs> this is not enough for you? I don't know why. Out of everything, <clears throat> broccoli tastes the best with the cheese. I don't oh. know what it is. I'd rather eat everything by itself. But no. broccoli, I'll eat with the cheese. Definitely. Mm. And the bread. Mm. Should we add more cheese, no? She took some of the Yeah, I think. Mm. And next time, I don't think I'm gonna add the Swiss cheese. I think mozzarella is good enough. Really? Mm. Do you like it? I like it. It's like. Do you? Mm. Okay, good. Okay, what's your favorite thing about me? We're gonna do this right now? Yeah. Let's play what's not your favorite thing. No! What, what am I saying? There's too many. Yeah. <sighs> oh, you definitely got better at cooking, like, insanely. That's the only thing you talk about. Is there nothing else? So you didn't think of anything else to talk about? No, I asked you. What do you like That's about it? me? That's it? You just gotta ask me a question? Yeah, what do you like about me? I seriously think? You ask me that like every... Valentine's Day? No, every... When is Valentine's Day? May 6th! I think sometimes... I know when... I really think sometimes guys forget when Valentine's Day? Yeah, but they remember when they walk into Walgreens and it's covered in hearts. <laughs> They're like, what is up with all the hearts? <laughs> the hell? <laughs> <laughs> and they realize, fuck, it was Valentine's Day. <laughs> no, everybody knows Valentine's Day. You know, especially when you're little, when you give out candy. And your crush. I want my crush. Well, you don't need to bring out your past? I never I never got one from my crush. So kids used to have like... You know, when you're younger, not, not high school, but in elementary, like their parents make it for you. And they hand it out to everyone. It's like, oh, what's your... Because elementary, you don't go to different You're classes. supposed to bring it, right? For everyone. No. No? That's what I have to do. No, no, no. But elementary, you have one classroom, one class, one teacher, you know? So you know who's in your class, but high school's different, obviously. So in elementary, your parents will ask you, like, okay, what's your, like, student? Like, give me a list, and then they write in, like, a little card, like, Happy Valentine's Day to Kimmy, whatever. And they hand it out. Hmm. Well, when I was in elementary, I was totally capable of writing my classmate's name. So, well, like, like the I'm talking about like the parents who set it up. Sure. Mm. The asparagus is so good.
What else besides this will taste good? Tteokbokki. Yeah. Dude, I made sure to wear this sweater. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah. Give me some flour. No, no, I want some more. <laughs> yes. Come on. Yes, master. Isn't this why you dress up like this? Because you're a waiter? Sure. <laughs> Not a fancy restaurant. <laughs> Oh, my throat hurts. Oh my god, I'm just so full right now. I feel bad. Today I heard this story from radio. Uh huh. So this girl has been sick. His husband, um, wife got a flu or uh -huh. cold. Uh huh. So she's been sick. Uh -huh. So. Um, he decided to sleep in the living room because you mm -hmm. know she's sick mm -hmm. and stuff let her rest up mm -hmm. But then he woke up never felt better in his life like mm -hmm. He was so energized. She thought that was so weird. Mm -hmm. So he did that for like three days because you know she's twice sick. was sick mm -hmm. and then Something like hit mm -hmm. him like mm -hmm. oh my god ever since I started sleeping with my wife mm -hmm. I've been like tired and exhausted every morning and I mm -hmm. just thought that was part of like I'm getting older mm -hmm. but all of a sudden when I'm sleeping separately mm -hmm. I'm energized so on the radio show he calls her and <laughs> tells her it's because you're snoring I always wake up in the middle of the night mm -hmm. and that's why sometimes I fake mm -hmm. that I'm sick so I could sleep separately from you but I could I always have the best sleep. Wow. And then, uh. Oh, she mad? Yeah, she's like, is this. What the F? Like, are you serious? I don't know, you think that's right? But think about it, like, all of a sudden, you, like, your whole life, you're just, you know, okay, just whatever. Uh huh. But you that one day. Mm -hmm. You're energized like when you were in like. Mm -hmm. But do you think it was right for him to lie though? Like, pretend that he's sick. He couldn't even talk to her about it. Well, I'm pretty sure he didn't wanna tell her that like it's cause you of your snoring. Well, no, it's better than lying to her. True. So mm -hmm. he did that. Call. I mean, he told her the truth. And she was obviously really, really mad. How be mad too? I mean, at least you don't snore, but I do, right? Mm. A lot. No, I think I snore more than you. You don't really snore. You snore when you're s really tired. Hmm. But that's like rare, though. Like I'm talking about, like you cannot. Even stay out for one movie. Mm. <clears throat> that like that tired. Maybe we should try to put like jalapeno in there. The cheese panda. Mm. It kind of gets nicky towards the end. Right. Uh, <laughs> kimchi in there. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Gucci. <laughs> I'm Gucci too. Honestly, I think I could eat more if I wasn't sick. Or like of fully, course you could. Like fully recovered. 
This is just an appetizer but for you. I've been drinking a lot of like just tea over actual meal. You know, um, or, like just water over meal. But when you're sick, you know what tastes really good? Ice cream. I don't know what it and is. And who brought you ice cream? I don't remember, but... <laughs> you did. Do you know what my favorite ice cream though? My uh, ice cream flavor? I always thought it was haagen strawberry. Really? Yeah. Oh. See, that's because you keep changing it. <laughs> so how am I supposed to that get it? That was like two weeks ago, though. <laughs> No, I do like it, but it's not my favorite. Really? You like mint chocolate? I hate mint. That's my favorite. <laughs> I hate mint. Mint, anything... Oh my god. Mint needs to stay as mint. It can't be mint chocolate. It can be mint ice cream. Mint. Well, I like mint chocolate chip ice cream. I don't know. I, can't, I don't like that. I think you like it because of refreshness, right? I don't like that. Then what's your new favorite? I always like coffee. Coffee? Mm. Hagen does, coffee is good, green tea is good. Green tea is always good. Does it have to be Hagen does? No, it could be Ben and Jerry. Does it have to be like name? Yeah. <laughs> what? No, they taste good. It's okay. not because like they have a name, you know? Sure. Coffee. With Ben and Jerry, it has to be red velvet, or that's pretty much it actually. So, okay. Okay. What do you have for me? Okay, close your eyes. I, it's closed. Okay. <laughs> I want a gift. <coughs> no. <coughs> You okay? <laughs> uh, my nip doesn't show. Okay. What would you do on the day of you forgot that was Valentine's Day? And you're going home. Mm -hmm. And you went home to your... I don't know, girlfriend or wife. And then you go home and you, like, you realize that... Oh, oh when God. I'm home? Yeah, you realize that it's Valentine's Day. What would you do? Act like nothing happened. Mm -hmm. Just walk in, mm -hmm. change my clothes. Mm -hmm. And be like, hey, I'm gonna mm -hmm. quickly work out. Mm -hmm. Go downstairs. Mm -hmm. Get in my car. Mm -hmm. Go to your other girlfriend's house. <laughs> with the flower. <laughs> <laughs> So, so at least you don't screw one up, you know? Oh, so... <laughs> I'm uh, just kidding. Is that why you're late today? <laughs> well... Uh, yeah, I mean... Uh, you know, it's better than be like, Oh shit, I do I mean... You will pretend like you didn't forget. Yeah, it's, it's better than being like, Oh crap, so. I forgot! It's better, like, after you yeah, still give so her too. flower, and then be like, yeah. Babe, <laughs> I totally forgot today was Valentine. Like you know, but still uh -huh. you brought something uh -huh, like uh -huh. so. Uh huh. That's true. You know, it's to would you rather have me go like she's? She I forgot. Uh, she. she. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when like I'm guys. Like, One, two, two. She. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I hate it when guys are so like. <laughs> oh, like, dude, I totally forgot, you know, like, you know, but you understand, right? But they're so, like, not, they're so indifferent about it, and clearly they, they effed up, you know? Then, like, okay, like, it makes a girl more mad, at least be, like, super sorry, hmm. you know, but guys are, like, yeah, but they're, like, oh, like, oh my god, I totally <laughs> forgot, <laughs> you know? She. she. <laughs> <laughs> So much better. Good. Yeah. Yeah, I really can't eat. Mm-hmm. When this meat is good. <laughs> I 
or the broccoli is good too. Get down. I like it. You're more energized. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday I was really dead. So Almost every time we eat out. <laughs> Damn, you killed it. Uh, uh, <laughs> Don't stop drinking it. Yo, call the cab. No, this is so much sugar. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't drink. Oh. <laughs> No sugar to me. Bobby can't sleep tonight. Ooh. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Not you. <laughs> you need to rest. <coughs> I do. So what do you think, what's your ideal gift? <laughs> Let me start. <laughs> okay, give me a price range. <laughs> Zero to three fifty. <laughs> That's three thousand. Dollar fifty cent. <laughs> three dollar fifty cent. Cheeseburger. Nice. My chicken. Nice. Large fries. Oh yeah. Um, maybe small bit flurry. I think my large my flurry is more than three fifty. <laughs> <coughs> so how about guys? What's guys' ideal gift? Cause yeah. I know, cause so this used to be a thing. So like, this is um I don't know about here, but in Korea, like there was a lot of like, uh, comedy um focused on this. Basically, girls always give like handmade stuff, like thousand cranes in a little jar, or they all handmade scarf. You know, very sentimental, but the problem was they always expect something really expensive, up to thousands of dollars from the guy. So like, they think they want like a Prada bag, yet they're giving them thousand Cran uh, cranes. I mean, if that's, you equal that as an hour, that person could work at a McDonald's or <coughs> anywhere. Like, <coughs> cut grass, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> they could make so much money. Yeah, and then, snow. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm like saying that was trash. the problem because girls were expecting more than what they were giving. So what's guys' ideal gift? Guys, I'm not kidding. All guys will agree. Is take a moment. Everybody say it in their head. Okay. Is to be single for that there. <laughs> you think every guy will agree? What if nobody agrees? It makes you a jackass. <laughs> Get a pass for a day. <laughs> what kind of stupid girlfriend would give him a pass? Hey, you could be single for today. I know. Grabbing all those single Valentine's Day alone solo ladies. Whatever. Hey, are you here alone? <laughs> I finished almost the whole juice by myself. <laughs> Clink. <laughs> Mmm, asparagus. Oh, yeah, it's asparagus. I think, I mean, like, this is not, like, I can't believe this is coming from me, but the cheese is kind of heavy for me right now. Maybe I didn't get my full appetite back. You know? Well, oh, it's okay, take your time. Yeah. And then when you come back, you realize I have surpassed you and. You'll be under me. Whatever. And sooner or later, you can wash my dishes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the Cheetos. You're welcome. But uh, that like burns my. <laughs> well, we're gonna end the video here today. Uh, I think we're pretty Happy much Happy Valentine's Day! Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Hope you guys are spending 
your awesome time with your loved ones. It doesn't have to be a boyfriend or whatever. It can be just with someone who you guys love being with. So it can be with your dog, your cat, you know, so. Hamster, your rat, cow, horse. goldfish. Yeah, so, or with your TV. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out the description box for more info on the Bubble Witch 3 saga. Thank you for all your support and happy Valentine's Day. Bye. 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 Ha!